so now let's go into um, scroll back up here and just add one more function to actually check if the form is valid so that would be actual add a public function form is valid okay and that will do just one thing that is return whether that, that variable that we're setting to whether the form is valid or not that that's all this function will do it will just return this form is valid okay and just to less confuse ourselves let's just rename this function because we don't want it to be called the same as the variable name is returning so instead of form is valid we'll just say form valid okay all right so let's just scan our program just once more see everything's okay all right so let's go ahead and now just remove all of these so now we've added validation for one field which is the first name and then we say if validator form is valid calling this function down here form is valid actually let's add another function down here name forgot about that sorry about that guys all right so we're calling this function if if this returns true we go ahead and um redirect the page to the success page and if not we'll have to output the form again with the values in it so we don't actually need these anymore we'll remove those because those are the output um php tags from the last episode um series that we did that is a simple validation and uh, just once more as a reminder if you are finding this very hard to follow just go ahead and watch my um last video that might be help you to be able to follow along as we're doing all right okay so let's carry on now <clears throat> so next what we're going to be doing is we're going to call this um function that say output field error for each of the fields any field that we want to output error we're going to have to call this function over here all right so the function name is let's copy that output field error and we actually have um access to this validator handler over here so all we need to do is open a php tag here okay and inside of that we're going to say validator call our function and that's it that's it guys all right so now let's go ahead and launch our browser hopefully we don't have any errors okay so it says 500 internal error so let's go ahead back in our script and try to check what that is um okay let's try to see what the php page is telling us all right so it seems like i'm using the wrong server basically so right, let's go ahead and refresh this to see so the server is telling us that syntax error unexpected bracket expecting squiggly bracket on line three okay so let's go ahead in our validator.php so on line three oh let's remove this all right save go ahead and refresh all right so we have a form coming but it say missing argument one for validator output fail error called all right so it seems on line 60 in our validator.php we're actually missing an argument all right so on line 60 all right basically the reason is we're calling this function here but we're not passing it any um any field that it expects to output so if we say output field error we actually have to tell this function what field name to output the errors for so in here we have to say first name it has to be exactly the name of the form field that you want to output errors for. so in this case first name let's go ahead refresh okay so let's submit this form now since this is empty and the length is less than two it should give us two errors now so we've um submitted and we still have more errors call to undefined method add field on line 9 index.php right let's go ahead add field okay seems like field we called it wrongly should be add underscore field go ahead and refresh and another fourth error form is valid on line 57 validator.php all right let's go ahead and fix that as well form is valid um oh yeah i did call this as an 
function while it's actually a field. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, more errors. <laughs> Seems like this party is not yet over. So what's it saying this time? Undefined property validator error field. Hmm. On line 64. Undefined property error field. All right, 64. Let's go ahead. What's it saying? For each this. Hmm. This error field. Okay, um, we did make a mistake. Should be error fields. And guys, actually, I did leave these errors in so that some t I didn't um, edit them out. So we'll actually all be learning because um, this might be new to a lot of people. So it, it's probably a good skill to be actually be able to see errors and identify where they're coming in. And it is very invaluable skill to be able to see PHP errors and be able to know how to fix them. All right? Okay. So let me know if that's a bit too distracting, um, these errors. I'll edit them out in the next tutorial that I'll be doing.